This podcast discusses cannabis and is intended for audiences 21 and over. A research study of heterosexual couples who smoke cannabis at least twice a week found that participants were more likely to be intimate within two hours of partaking. If that's research you're interested in, today's strain is for you. Perhaps it's time to reach out and talk to someone. Welcome to Saturday Strains. I'm your host, April Pride, and I'll be your high guide each Saturday as we move through the 12 essential cannabis strains that every woman should have in her stash. If you haven't already, please listen to the three short Strains Explained episodes to learn more about how cannabis is a lot like another substance we can cut on to change our outlook, wine. In each episode, you can expect more weed hacks. And remember, we'll guide you from less intoxicating strains that are nearly all CBD to strains with increasingly higher THC levels. Which one of these events actually happened in 2014? A, there was a sharp uptick in hashtag Girl Scout cookies on social media. B, a clever Girl Scout set up a cookie stand outside a San Francisco dispensary. C, Girl Scouts of America sent a cease and desist to beloved LA dispensary Buds and Roses because the GSA objected to its trademark being used in connection with illegal drugs. D, all of the above. If you said D, you win a cookie. Our final strain in this series, GSC, is a hybrid cross of two others we featured What do you get when OG Kush plus an unspecified strain proprietary to the original breeder plus Durban poison have a baby? A girl. Girl Scout cookies, that is. After the lawsuit from Girl Scouts of America, this California bread strain is now simply referred to as GSC. There are two reasons we selected this strain. Our final. The first is that it hits hard, but most people can handle it. The second reason It's its availability. There is a plethora of GSC's descendants or phenotypes, including platinum GSC, cookie dough, blue cookies, phantom cookies, cookie puss, thin mint GSC, grape cookies, zookies. There's lots. So here are five reasons women love Girl Scout cookies. Number one, what does it help with? Pain relief, nausea, appetite, and sex. Number two, how high will I get? By crossing two popular strains and one unspecified, the underground breeding collective Cookie Family or Cookie Fam elevated GSC's THC levels to an average of 25 to 28%. That's a lot of THC and probably the highest on our Saturday strains list. So expect to feel it. The strain has great street credibility too. Numerous High Times Cannabis Cup Awards, which is kind of like the Academy Awards of weed. Number three, how will it make me feel? First, for the fun stuff, you will feel very high. Think drinking liquor versus beer, except with an inspired mind and fully relaxed body. GSC will have you feeling warm on the inside and introspective, like a buzz after your second double of scotch or whiskey. But GSC can tip you into couch lock, so dose accordingly, and make sure to either have snacks on hand or lock up your food. Caryophylline is the dominant terpene in GSC and responsible for its sweet and earthy aroma, and its distinctive taste may remind you of the nose-tingling notes in black pepper, cloves, and cinnamon, which also contain caryophylline. Cloves and cinnamon both have aphrodisiac qualities, which brings me to number four. Why do women love it? Women love GSC because it earns them a very different Girl Scout badge because GSC is the strain for sex and masturbation. Why? Aside from its reputation for facilitating natural moisture in women, the strain also transports you into a very lifelike fantasy land. Vivid and euphoric daydreams are to be expected after smoking cookies, and they are best enjoyed with your eyes closed and mind open. Number five, what will it inspire? Say you give yourself permission to just get super high and have lots of sex. A cookie's high will inspire greater intimacy through deeper conversations, relaxed body vibes, and creative thinking, sure to better a session in bed. Or maybe you're alone. This is a perfect strain for masturbating. And remember, Girl Scout cookies gets you higher, longer, so plan to enjoy (laughs) yourself for a long while. 
Your set and setting may look something like this, over-the-air headphones, ringing with body vibrating bass, or listen to Dipsy. So that's a wrap. Our countdown of the 12 strains we'd recommend every woman should have in her stash or at least a dozen places to start or continue your cannabis journey. And tune in at the end of this month when we review all the strains in a single episode with more information behind why we chose these strains, alternative strains to our selections, and women-owned farms who grow these strains that you can support. And some parting words. Please reserve judgment if a strain we recommend doesn't work for you. You haven't failed, and neither have we. In fact, having gotten it wrong, you're one step closer to your right high. You didn't quit drinking when a Long Island iced tea as your first bar drink turned out to be a wrong move, right? Send us a DM to at do the pot or to me directly at April Pride and let us know how this strain worked for you. Thank you for listening to Saturday Strains from the High Guide, every woman's cannabis handbook. Check us out online at dothepot.com. Special thanks to Low Friesen, founder, CEO, and chief extraction officer of Seattle's beloved cannabis brand, Halo, for vetting our strain selects. We'd also like to thank Jeffrey Raber, PhD, and Colin Montgomery of The Workshop, as well as Nick Jacombs, PhD, of Leafly, for schooling us on strains. Thanks to my co-founder, Ellen Scanlon, Maddie Fair, our marketing manager, and our producer, Nick Patry. I'm April Pride, and we'll be back soon with more of How to Do the Pot. <laughs>